Section 11.3, Perimeter and Area of Similar Figures. Let's do a quick review here. We know that length, which we've looked at, is a one-dimensional measure. Perimeter is also a one-dimensional measure. However, area is a two-dimensional measure. Thus, this gives us an interesting relationship with the ratios of lengths, for perimeter, of lengths, perimeters, and areas. This is what we see, and let's go ahead and go back to a blank grid. Here we go. So let's say I have a square. Square is pretty easy to work with. And my square is three units. The side is three units long. That means I'm also three units tall and that my area is nine square units. What happens though if I were to double the length of the side? So we're going to times the side by two. This means my side is now six units long, but that also doubles my height. I get six by six square, which means the area is now 36. So while the lengths doubled, the area quadrupled. And that's because this side here is 2 times 3. This is also 2 times 3. So when we multiply these together, we get 2 times 2 times 9. You get 2 squared times 9. Which brings us to our relationship for side lengths, perimeters, and areas. So what we see is because side length is one-dimensional, perimeter is one-dimensional, but area is two-dimensional. Then for side length, we'll keep a ratio of A to B. If the ratio of lengths is A to B, then the perimeters are actually also A to B. And we can go back and we can notice that because in these figures, the perimeter of this first one is 4 times 3, which is going to be 12. And the perimeter of the second figure is 4 times 6, which is going to give us 24. We still have a scale factor of by 2. This is still in a 1 to 2 ratio. So in both of these examples, the side lengths and the perimeters are in a 1 to 2 ratio, but the area is in a 1 to 4 ratio. which is what we see here, is that we get an A squared to B squared ratio for area. Now what do you think that means for volume? Volume opens us up into another dimension. We're now in three dimensions. So hopefully you are able to guess that the ratio would be A cubed to B cubed. So for a quick example, let's say instead we had triangles. And this triangle is two centimeters long here, but it is uh, six centimeters long here. So we have increased the th length by three. We're in a one to three ratio. The perimeter would also be in a one to three ratio, but the area would be in a one to three squared or one to nine ratio. And the volume would be in a one cubed to 3 cubed ratio, or 1 to 27. So this really matters when we get into more dimensions. Let's look at some examples.